Hello YouTubers, my name is NixV and today I'm going to show you how do inline skates look like after two years of rough usage on the example of Fila and RK by X. Let's go! There are a lot of inline reviews on YouTube, but most of them are made after a few days or a few weeks of using the new skates. And you should understand that that is not the period of time for that you are going to use that skates. So I made the first review of these wonderful skates after half a year of using them. And today, after more than two years of using them, I'm going to show you what has happened with them, because much has changed. But at first, let's take a look how they perform. Line escape while you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating I'm waiting and always hesitating kryptonite desires set my heart afire heart on fire set my heart afire Something like that. I got two skates here, but I will be talking mostly about that one because this is my right skate and it is my T stopping skate and sliding skate, and it has been loaded much more than the other one, so all the problems, most of the problems, has happened with that skate. So let's take a closer look at it. Here they are, my good old fillers. And let's start from the bottom. I won't be talking about wheels or bearings because I've changed them already and not once. That's natural. Let's start from the axes. I've got two new axes here and two old ones. I've changed the originals because of a stripped thread on them. That's quite a common problem. I couldn't find any original filler axes on the web and also there is not too much info about the sizes so i measured them by myself and bought the alternative the size is by the way 6 to 34 and maybe they are a little bit long so i'm using a small washer right here the frames are wonderful they are almost untouched solid and unharmed Maybe some scratches here, but I really don't know what one should do to break them. You can see that I still have a part of original filler laces here, and the lace served pretty well. The first lace got ripped after more than a year and a half. There is no 45 degrees heel fixating velcro strap here and it ripped rather fast I've showed it in my previous review but the support is still okay I can fix my foot good with only the laces and by the way the velcro strap on other skate is still alive now let's take off the liner you can see that it is pretty worn almost a holes in it but it's still very comfortable and fixes my foot good. One calf mount went out and since it's a rivet, not a bolt, it's not very easy to replace it. So calf is now held only by one rivet. Sometimes the support is not good enough in the ankle. Here's the rivet thing is also cracked a little but it still works good and functions okay 
This is my slide inside, so you can see a lot of scratches, and the main thing is that hole. The hole for ventilation is now much more than it should be, so I can even put a finger in it. Two fingers. And also, the tile here, you can see that the metal ring, like here, has gone and that it is not very easy now to put a lace in it. Technically that's all. You can see that the time is a cruel thing and my skates are not in their best shape right now. Right here I got this. And these are my new skates. I think you've already guessed the brand. What is the exact model you will know from my next videos. Because right now I'm going to put these skates on, take my action cam and go skating. I'm so keen on it.